Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I pray that you are having a blessed day. This channel is dedicated to hurting marriages. You may be a wife or a husband standing for your marriage. This channel is for you. It is through the divine leading of the Holy Spirit that you are here to listen and find encouragement. I pray that this blesses your soul. Thank you for being a blessing to me and my family. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so, so that we can always be together every time I come on. My dear friends, most of the time, I just sit in wonder because God certainly has a way of doing things and it's not at all the way that I would choose to do things. The Bible in Isaiah chapter 55 verses 8 to 9 tells us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I know this. I have this scripture engraved in my heart. Yet, there are times when I cannot help but daydream scenarios of how it will happen. But my dear friends, honestly, that is probably best because I tend to just mess things up always and a lot. I've spent so much time over the years asking God why He lets certain things happen. I have begged and pleaded Him to help me understand why I had to experience so much pain, so much betrayal, and such deep struggle. But the truth is, my dear friends, I know that without the experiences that I had to walk through, I would not have come to the place where I am at right now and where I am with my relationship with the Lord. I would not have chosen this path, definitely not. And I still say that I would never ever wish this path on anyone. But this path is exactly what I needed to get to where I am today. And God knew that and allowed this path to restore me back to Him. My dear friends, in the Bible, you will see exactly this. The exact same thing happened to the Israelites in their journey. They would walk with the Lord and then set forth in their own ways. God would then restore them only to have them wander off again. There were times when God allowed them to be scattered in many different places so that they could see and realize that living on their own way without God was not going to be successful at all. So do not fret, my dear friends. Yes, you and I will make mistakes. We will mess up in the stand. We will be separated. We will be alone. But if that is the path that we have to take for us to be brought to where God wants us in the stand, then so be it. He himself said in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. God already knows the path that we are taking. He is not surprised at all by all the mistakes, the missteps, and the mishaps that we make. He knows everything, even before we've thought of it, more so before doing it. Every fall, every mess up, everything. There is absolutely nothing that we do that will surprise our God. But 
the good news is that God wants to restore us. He is the God of restoration. He wants to bring us back into a relationship with Him. He wants us to turn from our own ways back to His ways so that He can gather us up from all the places that we have gone. We just have to surrender to His ways. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 3 is a promise from God that I stand on very firmly. I encourage you to engrave this scripture in your heart and pray over this. Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where he scattered you. My dear friends, the Bible tells us over and over again that God will restore. God is a God of restoration. That is just who He is. He will restore everything that was lost, everything that was taken away from you, everything that the enemy has stolen from you. But we have to surrender to His way. He will gather all our pieces and put us back together. That is a promise, just as He promised in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 5 to 6. Fear not, I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. So my dear friends, we just have to recognize and acknowledge that it is Him, only Him, doing the putting together and not us doing it by our own strength. I know, my dear friends, I know what you are feeling what you are thinking. I know that you are worried about your spouse and how far they have wandered. You fear that they are beyond reach. And I am sure that you are questioning and cannot at all understand why God has allowed this horrible, horrible thing in your lives. I do not have the answers. I can't tell you why. But I can tell you that if you will allow God to lead you, He definitely, definitely will. And He will also reveal to you the things that you need to know when you need to know them. Again, always in His perfect time. So I urge you, definitely encourage you keep trusting him keep seeking him never cease in praying for your spouse giving up is not an option because my dear friends when the time is right God will restore everything that you have lost he will restore sevenfold what the enemy has stolen from you. He will restore, not only restore from what it was before, but it will be a rebirth of a beautiful, beautiful restoration of you, your spouse, and your marriage. He will gather you. He will pick up all the pieces and put them all back together and make it better and more beautiful than it ever was. He will do it. Trust that He will do it. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the promises that You have given us in Your Word. Your word is true. It is living. 
it is real and we choose to trust only in you. Father, we ask not our will, but thy will be done, thy perfect and divine will. In the name of Jesus, amen. My dear friends, thank you for your time. I pray that this has given you encouragement and that this has been a blessing to you. I continue to pray for all of you and God bless you all.